Alright, well, we're out here on the practice range here at Commonwealth and uh, I'm joined by one of our teaching professionals, Sandy Jamison. And Sandy, uh, I'm probably guilty like a lot of people of coming out to the range and just mindlessly bashing balls out there, but uh, you've got a bit of a skill test for some of our viewers to uh, help them uh, refine their game out on the range and get the most out of the experience. Absolutely, Ryan. The members would have noticed the flags out there and you've also seen the A4 sheet of paper in the ball hut, I'm sure. It's a skills test. We recently put some of the pennant players through there, about 18 kits through the skills test, and you'll be able to see their scores published on the web shortly. The idea is to practice with a target and put yourself under a little bit of pressure. So the skills test works around 40 balls, and what we're going to do is we're going to hit a ball to the 50 metre target, just with a, a sand iron or a wedge of some description. It needs to be well struck and it needs to land thereabouts. Then we're going to hit a full wedge or whatever club it takes you to get to the 100 metres. Then we're going to go a mid iron to the 150 and then we're going to hit a driver through the 200 mark. So I'm not really worried with the drive whether you reach it or whether you go past it, not in the houses please. But what I want to do is do short well, 50, 100, 150, 200 metres and we go in that order. Please don't stand there and hit 10 balls to the 50 metre target first. Use a scorecard to keep a result. So effectively replicating what you're doing on the, on the course and working your way through different clubs rather than just sticking with the same. Absolutely, and it's amazing if you watch the Port Phillip, Ryan, um, Hamish Huffardine, one of our guys, was the only guy who got to the match play. And when we did the skills test, he got the highest score on the skills test. So I think you'll find that those results replicate. Yep. Plus also when you practice on the range, it's really easy to get into a groove with a seven iron and hit seven iron after seven iron after seven iron. Uh, and feel good about yourself. Yeah. Sometimes when you do the skills test, you won't feel good about yourself, but it probably replicates golf a little more closely. So this is a, a good drill that you use a lot with some of our pennant prospects you've done recently? Absolutely. Yeah. Right. All right, well, let's uh, show us how it's done. All right, we'll have a go. So I'll start with my sand iron. I'm just going to pitch it to the 50. I'm, look, I'm a little closer than 50 today. I reckon it's more like um, 25, 30 metres, but it doesn't really matter as long as I'm putting myself under some heat. So let's see how we go. I like that one. That's nice, that's one for one. Nearly hit the board. So then I'll go and grab my pitching wedge out. I'm going to hit the pitching wedge full. Um, so probably from here it'll go past the 100. But the flags, if it goes outside the flags it doesn't count. We'll see how I go. Oh, a bit thin. Through the flags. Probably would have finished on the green. I'll yeah, I'm not, nah, not, not going to pay it. Not going to pay it. And then I'll go my seven iron to the 150. I've got the added pressure of the camera happening here too. Correct. Oh, thin again. But through, I'll pay that one. And driver. This has been my nemesis. So. <laughs> The, be a little easy on yourself. That um, the flags down there, the white flags, they're actually just narrower than US Open width. So that's so a really true test. Uh, it's a true test. Yeah, I got that one. That'll score nicely. So my nemesis has been my strong one. There you go. So you're three from four, and so. Basically, we're asking uh, people to replicate that 10 times and that'll give you a good score at the end of it out of 40. And you'll know whether the club's doing a fair thing by it because you're supposed to get 40 balls in that bucket, so you should have exactly <laughs> the right amount of balls. You'll probably find this practice harder because it's a true test of golf, but after all, if we want our practice to transfer out to the golf course, we need to put ourselves under some heat. Terrific. Well, thanks, Andy. That's uh, a good drill for everyone there to try over the summer and uh, hopefully get the most out of your time on the range. Absolutely. Thanks. And don't be scared to book a lesson to uh, see if you can improve that score. Spot on. Thank you.